hell is that? I don't know. Did something happen? Like, I'm going to let this guy go. That just, out of nowhere, it just stopped. Right, a little bit blind from the right. Oh, okay. Oh, and then, all right, that's right. Yeah, that was bad there. It cut out in front of the car on the left here, mm -hmm. and it was slow. Right, I've got the arrow and it's stopping. It's gonna go. It's, it's, okay, I'm gonna press accelerator. It just got stuck in the intersection. That's ridiculous. Those are the three worst incidents of the day. We did about 88 miles. First leg of the trip was almost perfect, but it was a pretty easy leg with a lot of high wind between. But coming home is where we ran into some real problems. Those were those first three that we looked at. Let's look at some of the first part of the drive. We'll get back to those later. Coming into the toll plaza, I took over just as my car is putting on the right turn signal. I think it might have gotten into this easy pass lane, but after I re-engaged it, it did go through the easy pass. Hard to tell how Tesla's going to deal with which gates to go through, which are paid, or which you have to stop for. So that we're just now past the easy pass. It's still going really slow. Nobody's going to be going 17 miles an hour. So there was nobody behind us. So at least we could let it go slow just to kind of see what was going to happen. Now we're going to ramp up. And one of the few times today that we're going to go really fast or faster than the speed limit. Now we're going 55 in a 45. Most of the day, we seem to be going too slow, but it's just wildly variant between too slow and too fast. Here, we're going to blow through the 45 mile hour speed sign. I'm going to take over and slow down. This is a great way to get a ticket, and they've got to figure out how to do this in small towns. Passing a 45 speed zone, again, we're going 34, they're 35 miles an hour now. So, yeah, this is still wildly broken in 12.4.5.1. This guy's going to pass me. Can't blame him. We're just going below the speed limit. Now we're going 60, 61 and a 55. Again, wildly inconsistent if it's going to go over the speed limit, under the speed limit, and seems to seldom go at the speed limit. So, Oh yeah, it's really frustrating. This is going to hard stop. Oh, it was hard stop. Now we're on our way home after taking a nice hike. And this is where really most of the troubles were that we ran into. So, but first we've got an Ohio specialty, an Amish buggy to enjoy. Okay, we've got an Amish buggy for the... Let's see what it does on the screen. It just shows kids on a bike. Yeah, I think they're bicycles. Another case, blowing past the 25 mile an hour speed limit, going 39 miles an hour, so I'm gonna take over and slow down just to avoid getting a ticket. This is a very difficult case. We're gonna play this real time, slow-mo, and come back to it real time. Watch that truck to the right. There is no stop sign there. He rolls through, this person goes. My car's going to proceed and you'll see just in the A-pillar a car coming into it that it's not stopping because it doesn't have to. At 50% speed, there's some corn stalks and other things to the right that might be blocking the uh, cameras to the right. You'll see this car start to come in, I take over. I'm not quite sure how this is solved. This is a very bad intersection. I can imagine there's gotta be a lot of accidents here. Here the car comes, I'm going to take over. Oh. Yeah, th this was not good. Look to the left, Chew Mail Pouch Tobacco Barn. You don't see those much anymore. Google it, they're kind of interesting. Uh, they were a staple in America years ago. We're back to going below the speed limit. We're going to get passed by a truck yet again. All right, we're going 51, so this guy's going to blow by us. Don't blame him for that. So now we're going two miles over the speed limit. So what's the difference between this section of road, same condition, than it was a few miles back, we're going below the speed limit. Now we're back to the speed limit. All right, what the hell is that? I don't know, did something happen? Like, I'm going to 
to get, let this guy go. That just, was out of nowhere, it just stopped. Here's another thing that drives me crazy. Watch the Tesla navigation as it we'll turn flips around and get back on our course, but that was, no idea what the hell that was. So inconsistent with the speed. We hit a 55 zone, we're still only going 47, and other times we'll go maybe a little bit over the speed limit. So there's just wildly inconsistent how it's dealing with speeds. Now we're going, we bumped up to 60, for, that was just a few seconds later for whatever reason. I have no idea why we're going 60 now. We we're going 51, we went to 55, now 60. There's a truck right behind me. Maybe my car's feeling the heat in the truck. Who knows? When my car pulls out from the stop sign, if you look on my screen, you can see the car coming from the left that I've cut off. And then my car is also just creeping out and going way too slow. So this was a really bad failure. That was bad there. It cut out in front of the car on the left here, and it was slow. After we get through this light, we're going 37. Now we're gonna ramp up. Now we're gonna go over the speed limit. So for this section, we're deciding to go 60. Actually hit 61 for a second, go back to 60 here. Again, rhyme or reason why we're going fast or slow. Just a complete mess with auto speeds. So now, Max speed here is 50, and we're going 61, no traffic around us. Why are we going 10 miles over the speed limit here? I've right, got the arrow and it's stopping. It's gonna go. It's, it's, okay, I'm gonna press accelerator. It just got stuck in the intersection. That's ridiculous. That was crazy bad. Coming through this roundabout, go past the first one, the second one, and we're gonna take the third exit. This woman in the car behind the van is gonna cut me off. My car does a good job of slowing down and letting her through. So some bad human driving on display. Oh, what was that? Oh, I think it was an acorn fell off oh, the okay. tree, I think. <laughs> okay. The ride home was not good. It was very disappointing, all the problems and errors I saw. I don't think this build is any better than 1236 has been. I don't see huge leaps and improvements, so I think robo-taxis are still a ways off.